like, hey, welcome back to another uh, Tasting Room Conversation. Super excited to be here today talking to people that, hey, I talk to you guys all the time. Every day, every day. You guys get to meet a lot of people over at the pub. You meet uh, Brian out on the road. You meet Jordan a lot. You've probably seen these guys on social media, but these are, are the guys that are in the the brew house every day, in the packaging area every day, making things happen. So we've got Tyler, Donnie, Justin, they are really the, the dream team of guys making sure that every package of beer that gets you gets to the people correctly. That's that's what you do. That's the goal. Yeah. Well, you know what else uh, the, the goal is, is to uh, end a day and have a beer. We just finished a day, so let's have a beer. It's right? done. Uh, anybody want a lime? Yes, please. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, uh, guys, why you, you're not allergic. Yeah, hopefully we'll I don't have an allergic breakout. <laughs> no, we're good. I'm going to jump this right in. Yeah. So, you guys at home might be wondering, like, what are, what are professional brewers doing uh, putting lime in a beer? Well, sometimes you just have to. This isn't what this is going to be all about, but just we wanted to show why we all have the same beer. Today, uh, coming out to everybody live, first time we put it in a can, our Press 2 Mexican Lager, right? Yeah. Very excited. You guys excited about this? Okay. So one of the things that I want to say, um, oftentimes people look at certain styles and get really super excited about it as brewers, um, so this is first to, to Tyler and Donnie, what makes you excited about a Mexican lager? Oh. There's just nothing, especially in the dead of summer and you know, in a very humid environment um, at the end of the day, just being able to you know, get out of work and come over to the tasting room and just to be able to have like like crushable beer mm -hmm. to just kind of quench your thirst. It's like an adult gator. <laughs> <laughs> and so well, that's true. I yeah, agree with that. you know, one of the things um, that I think, you know, when when, when you start brewing, uh, so much of the conversation is around. At least for me, when I started brewing, hops and hop varieties and these sorts of things. When you make a beer like this, um, you're you're not really talking about those things. I mean, what are you talking? What are you, what are we looking to do um, when you make a Mexican lager? Yeah, basically just trying to make the cleanest beer we can. Yeah, entirely. And I think that's like um, that's one of those things that uh, is overlooked often. It's like crisp, clean. This is a freaking mm -hmm. hard beer to make and have it be anything. Really, exactly. have it be because there's so little. There's so little behind it you can yeah, hide it. You can't hide anything behind it. Uh, and it's really just, it's really about the fermentation. Yeah. I mean, if you miss your de rest, um, knowing when you're going to. Diacetyl. Be, sorry. Diacetyl. You're so nasty. It's just all about just tracking your fermentation correctly and make sure it's going yeah. Yeah. the way you want it to go, um, making it have the proper logger time, things like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, and when it comes out right, it's very satisfying to me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's very, it is. Yeah. I mean, I think all of us and, and Jazzy, like you, you've been on this this kick of like, you start with beer, you have a beer, mm -hmm. and it's probably a light lager of some sort. It's probably some sort of American domestic, some sort of something, yeah. and then you get into this craft beer thing. And I think all of us have gone through this phase of. You go through um, looking at crazy stuff. Like you, you, you go through from light lagers into something. Some people start with stout. Some people start with brown ale. Some people start with amber. Some people, you know, you, you can start with an IPA or an IPA. Or, I mean, and so many of these juicy IPAs now are really mimicking flavors, almost a flavor in all beverages with the fruit juice sort of characteristic yeah. of the hops. And you go through this phase of like, let's have bigger, crazier, wilder beers. Um, and then, 
mean, I think we're all kind of in this realm again, yeah, at least for this time being. Yeah. Jazz, I'm gonna pick on you. What, what, if you're gonna grab, go grab a beer, um, any beer, what are you looking for? What are you thinking about? Why, why would you pick one beer versus another? I mean, I think just like what you said, I mean, every once in a while, yeah, I do want that crazy IPA or that like dark stout, like when I'm in the mood, but I'd say majority of the time, you want that nice, easy drinking. It doesn't have to be a lager per se, but just something that you can keep coming back to. Yeah. I know it's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No, I, I'd agree. I think you guys echo kind of the... Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, and, I, and I love crazy. Yeah. I, I enjoy engaging with it. They're fun to brew sometimes. Yeah, it's um, fun throwing all the hops in sometimes. Yeah. They're, oh, yeah. Throwing coffee and stout. And for yeah. sure. For sure. Um, but then when you come home, you're like, ah, I'm going to have a beer. I'm going to have a beer. Rock a... <laughs> I'm stoked about this beer. You can you guys the lawn door? Golf course. Golf course. <laughs> Fishing boat. <laughs> Fishing boat. Fishing Any boat. activity in the summer. <laughs> so guys, uh, beer is is definitely part of um, what you guys do, but it's not the entirety of, of who you are. I mean, nobody's entirely their job. Um, First question, what do you do here? I mean, obviously, I know, I'm not asking. This is not like a yeah. performance review. Like, what the hell do you do here? Yeah. But for those watching, like, what is your job? Um, what does that entail? What do you What do you like about it? But then let's let's also talk, like, what, what are things beyond work life that you're excited about, that you see, that, um, that you're into? Yeah. Oh, Go for it, Tyler. Uh, so I'm, I'm um, one of the head brewers here, um, and that uh, pertains to pretty much everything to do that's over on the brew house side uh, that has to do with creating word, um, you know, fermentation, uh, filtering, uh, making sure it gets over to Jazzy Land correctly, um, and really yeast management. Jazzy um, Land is a layer we call. <laughs> yeah. It's back here. Yeah, so I'm, we're gonna have to. <laughs> Sis likes to. <laughs> and uh, so Jazzy Land, this is Justin Jazzy, uh, Jazzy J. Uh, it's a packaging area. So if you've ever been to our tasting room here and you've seen that area with cool stuff, uh, that's Jazzy Land. Mostly cans. Mostly cans. Yeah. Everywhere. Jazzy's got great cans. <laughs> You're right there. You can see it. Yeah. 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 So. Fermentation, making sure everything gets to Jazzy Land correctly. Uh, in a bunch, a bunch of cleaning. Um, everyone thinks it's wonderful, like, you know, you have a great job, you get to make beer all day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really not that. It's You make beer part of the time, and a lot of the time is making sure, you know, your floor is clean, you know, and making sure you have a sanitized vessel that you're going to put this sugary wort into that your yeast can thrive, mm -hmm. um, because that's only ultimately going to give you the your best available product to give out to you guys. Um, and I love doing it. I'm sure you love doing it as well. Um, you can usually see Donnie always with a hose, uh, or myself with a hose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. spray um, floor down. Cleaning. 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 Yeah. Um, it's a lot, a lot of cleaning, and it's awesome. So beyond making beer, doing this sort of stuff, what, what's what's in your life? What are you up to? What are you, what, what are you excited about? Um, if you're not here, where are you? And uh, well, I'm my fiance and I just moved to Brewer, um, so I got even closer to work. Yeah, uh, which is pretty Couldn't rad. Get away. Uh, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to my wedding. Uh, it's on June 8th this year. Uh, it's right around the corner. It's like a month away. Uh, out it's really, it's, it's really sneaking up. <laughs> they, um, they have a tendency to do that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. go from like zero to a hundred and like yeah. real quick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. Um, if I'm not here, um, I'm usually hanging out with my fiance and our, our cat, um, doing things around the house. Uh, we really like to go thrifting. Um, and look out at like you know yard sales and things like that. We really like antique good stuff, man. antique stuff. Um, you know, especially vinyls. Um, 
Anything to do with a rattan chair? Anything <laughs> rattan? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. So if you guys got some, uh, throw call him. Call me. I don't even yeah. know. That. I don't even know what that is, but that's cool. Yeah. It's like uh, a wicker kind of thing, right? Like a... Yeah, it's like a wicker, like anything, like kind of like a wicker chair, All right. things like that. All right. Um, other than that, just kind of hanging out, watching sports, things. Yeah. Donnie. Yeah, I'm Donnie. I'm also uh, the other head brewer here. Tyler explained it pretty well, but yeah, it's uh, keeping track of things, keeping track of orders coming in, making sure you always have grain on hand, hops, yeast management, lots of cleaning. Yeah, but um, it's fun. It's fun creating new recipes and you know. So creating new recipes is definitely fun. I mean, we've all we've yeah. all been in those those places. Like, what about what about that two hundredth batch of smiling Irish bastard? Mm. What's that like? That's fun too. Yeah. How, how is that fun? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what what when you come into work? Um, and for those of you who don't know this, which would be most of you, um, particularly these two, when they come into work. It's before most people, you know, yeah. four thirty, five o'clock in the morning yeah. to, to get rolling, sometimes even earlier than that. And what gets you out of bed to to brew that like I said, two hundredth batch of yeah, that same same. Thing? what's your thought process when you wake up and you're like, Hey, I'm gonna put my pants yeah. on yeah. It's, you know, uh, what are you looking for? What what makes you excited about that day? Uh, you know, it's fun troubleshooting and Figuring things out, but making sure the batch is exactly the same as the last batch. Is, a lot of, that's also fun. A lot of passion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, loving like what we do and just kind of having a moment also before everyone else gets here too. Like just kind of be by yourself. Yeah. And you just kind of feel the beer and everything working with it. Yeah. It's the, kind of, the sounds of the beer house, the smell of the mash in the morning. It's like yeah. one of the best smells <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can <can't laughs> think of. Um, and just enjoying. A small Irish bastard, for example, and having it be exactly the same yeah. every time. And, and I mean, people don't see this, but we we will spend time talking about what happened and why a pH was off by a tenth of a point, yeah. or why uh, a mash was, um, you know, the kettle gravity was, um, you know, a couple gravity points yeah, more than the last. Higher. What's going What's going on? What are we doing? How do we adjust? And, um, those are really boring details to a lot of people, but it's but really fun. For us. <laughs> really fun. For us. That might like be that we're a little off, but yeah, we, we like those things. But I love it. So beyond yeah. getting up at four in the morning, getting into work, what's what's uh, what's going on in your life? What what are you into? Um, I mean, obviously, those of us at this table know one big thing yeah. that's definitely going yeah. on in your life is going to be a, a, a life changer. But that and beyond, what? What's going, what's going down? Yeah, uh, June 26th, my wife Kelsey and I are expecting our first baby. There you so go. That's, that's also coming up very fast. Here's <laughs> second, so, but I'm so excited. That'll come up even faster. So you're yeah. Faster. yeah. And, uh, yeah, it changes things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my first baby, so, obviously, that's a, a big thing with Right yeah. Now. What What else? Um, you know, if you have a weekend off, if you have some time away, what are you uh, What are you looking to do? A weekend off, we usually like to uh, do do yard work stuff yeah, around the house. Uh, I really make do. A little, make a Lowe's trip. Yeah, I do love great little Saturday plans. I love just. I do lists. I love pottering around the house. You guys spend a lot of time uh, heading north or south. We do head north family. So, yeah, yeah. so yeah, that's yeah. awesome. We were just in the county this past weekend. So. Family man, right there. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. So Good that stuff. Um, looking forward forward to the golf course. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But right on. Well, your first two. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you press something in, in your bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bag is uh, about six pack lighter than it was when we yeah. started. <laughs> Jess yeah. Jay, Justin, what's uh, your job is uh, decidedly different in some ways right. than, than what these two do. Um, has some of the same features. Obviously, the cleaning and those sorts of things yeah. are critically important and, and big. What is it that you do? Um, 
how, how do you explain what you do? I mean, it's kind of a, it's a lot of little pieces, <laughs> a lot of little parts that make up a yeah. big job. Yeah, I mean, overall, I'm the packaging manager. So, like, I'd say my main job is to basically take the, the beer, which these guys have created. Uh, it sort of comes down the pipes, literally, to my layer. And, you know, just make sure it's carbonated, everything tastes good, looks good. Um, every batch, like they said, you know, same beer over and over again, needs to be exactly the same when I put it into the package. So, for me, that's uh, running a canning line a lot of the time. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's better than bottling, I think, but <laughs> it's pretty smooth. Yeah. Um, well, and you're well over a million cans now. Yeah, we're at like 1.3 million, I think. So, and I imagine after this summer, we'll be at two. Yeah, I, I would like to think that. Yeah, I think we'll yeah. get there. Um, so that thing's cruising, which is nice. Um, and I also fill a lot of kegs. So, you know, we sell a lot of draft throughout the state through our own restaurant, obviously. And you also manage distributors' orders. So we, yeah. if you've been t tuning into Tasting Room Conversations, you, you saw me talk with Jasper Walsh from Main Distributors. Um, Justin's the one in our company that takes in the distributors' orders, makes sure that we are communicating backwards to the brew crew on what we need to brew, and then forwards to the distributors on when it's gonna be there, the logistics, all that sort of stuff. So a lot of logistics, a lot of, um, you know, again, precision, and, and putting that beer in that can 1.3 million times the right. same way every time. Right. Which is a lot of, a lot of not easy. Jeez, <laughs> not easy. Oh, geez, not yeah, easy. it's definitely a lot of planning. I mean, every beer, you know, takes at least two weeks. You know, that's for a regular ale. Um, sometimes yep. four to six weeks for something that's as beautiful as that. And the distributors are telling me so far ahead, but you know, we've got so many tanks. You gotta cycle through them, make sure that you have the right beer in and it has to come out at the right time. It's a tree in a package. The consumer really dictates the schedule. It's, it's a the lot consumer of definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a, yeah. In a sense. Um, it's the not consumer just what we definitely, want <laughs> The consumer definitely dictates the schedule. We get to brew what we wanted to brew right. on the one barrel system and the five barrel yeah. system to a point. To but a even point. still, yeah. the, the consumer part. at the pub dictates that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we definitely are, we're, we're here for you. <laughs> um, and, and Jazzy is the one that, um, I mean, you guys get a little bit more of the calling the shots on what's coming out of the five barrels. Right? Yeah, more we'll, we'll uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there. Obviously, we get together and talk, and yeah. if we need something, we need something. But if there's an open tank on the five barrel system. And we don't need something. Hey, what, what for, example, what? for example, what this past week we like Garrett. Yeah, Garrett's recipe. So Garrett's, um, I mean, his title's assistant brewer. I guess yes. at this point he just he does, just he does a little bit of everything. Yeah. 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 yeah, he'll just yeah. he'll do whatever. Yeah. He's so hi Garrett, <laughs> hi. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, he's fantastic and and learned a lot from you guys in, in both sides of of the. Uh, production, um, you know, making the beer, putting it in a package and that sort of stuff and making his first beer. So making his first beer. We'll He's see if it turns out right, which it looked pretty good. He did well. He did well. He did yeah. well. Uh, it should be at the pub in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Yes. Yeah. Because this is going on there yeah. It'll be in a couple of weeks. Check it out. With Garrett's yeah. first, uh, big brew. first big brew. Big brew. <laughs> <laughs> it should be, uh, I think he learned some stuff from his first small group. <laughs> <laughs> we all, well, but, but oh, I want to get to Jazzy uh, on uh, what's going on, <laughs> what's going on beyond, but then I, I, I want to get us back to, uh, and so I'll plant this and think about it. Let's talk about our first small brews, each of us, and, and like when we first brewed a badge of beer, what we brewed and the... Like personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. How good and oh, or not good it was, yeah, yeah. So just think about that. So back to Jazzy and and uh, packaging, distributor stuff. Uh, a lot of a lot and, of moving parts and more yeah. and more. All the all the kegs that come through need to be cleaned, um, to clean and sanitized before we send them out. Yep, um, he oversees all that. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of just general. I I feel like I'm the general maintenance too sometimes. Um, everyone sort of fixes stuff, but like, yeah, people come to me and they're like, "Hey, 
what's scary. Yeah, Jordan especially. What's why isn't this line working? Like I'm not going to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Go look at it. <laughs> so, yeah, you you do a lot of everything finished. Just like the you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I like to have my hand on a lot of stuff. Beyond uh, the work stuff, what's going on? What what are you what well, are you into? I'm I'm already married and there's no kids on the way, so that's. Pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> boring is great. Yeah, yeah. Boring. Yeah, I, I've learned to love boring. <laughs> yeah. I do have, yeah, I do have a nice little life going. Uh, yeah. Two cats. I love, love both of them. Uh, got a little house over by the golf course. So everyone, what is it? You can walk up the whole four. I think at Bangor Muni, you go right past my backyard. Yeah. So you stop on in. We have Jazzy J. Stop on in and deliver him a press to yeah. because you should be able to buy him on the golf course. I think. Uh, yeah. Hey, Brian's working. <laughs> he's on, he's on, he's on, <laughs> I think he's there. I think he's <laughs> actually there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's so we'll work on the house a little bit. And uh, also, I've got an old motorcycle right now that I'm really excited about fixing up. Mm -hmm. So that'll be on the road this summer. It's a little 100 cc rapper. I'm excited to see that guy. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm doing a little, doing a little music too with uh, my man Andy. Yeah. We are playing some music. So we'll see. I don't know if we're ever gonna play it for anybody. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we will. <laughs> but we're not that bad. We're, well, no, we're not bad. bad. It's just a matter of. <laughs> it's just a matter of. It's so much fun in my. It's a lot back of fun. Room. Yeah. Swapping beers, swapping beers, uh, and playing music. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably will get a chance to to see us play. That would be fun. Okay. So back to that other thought process. When I first started making gear, I, I well, let's not get to when I really started making gear. Let's go to my first beer experience. I was in college, and. My buddy uh, John Carter, John Goopy, and, and Brian Tremblay were all, all hanging out, and we realized that we could buy. Hey guys, hey! We realized we could buy the ingredients for um, for making beer, um, but we couldn't buy beer. And I knew just enough science to be dangerous, um, and and knew generally how fermentation worked. So. We went and bought a bunch of stuff, and we cooked up this, this absurd, yes. absurd, just like gnarly stuff, uh, and fermented it in a pot, in the same pot that we boiled it in, uh, in a corner of Brian's basement. Perfect. Um, <laughs> With no lid on it. No, it had the lid on it and we put a weight on it because he had cats down there. We didn't want the cats <laughs> <all three. laughs> Oh, we had no idea where that was the first beer we ever made. After that, when I actually started to take it seriously, um, I got into all grain and I, I had some mishaps, but nothing quite as exciting as that. Yeah. As that. So when you guys first made a beer, I mean you've all made beers, you've all yeah. Brewed. yeah. I mean, I've, I'm just going to say, I've only homebrewed a couple times before I here, was here because yep. honestly, now it's like I work a full day in a brewery. I don't really want to go home. People yeah, say that. Yeah, people <laughs> say that. They're like, what are you homebrewing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but when it's I was. not what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing. Yeah. I don't know. My first one was a kit from, I think, from the farmhouse. From oh, the nice. Farmhouse. And I'm pretty sure it was mall extract. But mm -hmm. it was a oatmeal style, and it was it actually came out really well. I mean, I'm sure looking back, it had problems, probably yeah. fermentation temperature problems. Um, you know, it was in a carboy in a closet, but yeah, it was there's only so much you can do in yeah. a carboy in a closet. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Sure. I thought it came out pretty well. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah it was good. Nice. Yeah, my first one was a college apartment with the roommates. All right. So we, uh, we thought it'd be real fun to do. I think we went to the farmhouse as well. And yeah. Had an extract pale ale kit, and uh, yeah, we thought it was the coolest thing. But it was it was a hot mess looking yep. back at it and drinking it. I mean, we thought it was good, but it was probably it was probably <laughs> horrible. <laughs> but but it was so much fun. The smell of it in the apartment. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, after that. I, I did some more research and we went all green. Yeah, so yeah. 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 yeah you go all green pretty quick. Yeah. I, went, I, went, I went all green after that first yeah. absolute That's trash a, yeah. experience um, in yeah. college. Although, I mean, the, the beer 
We drank it. Yeah, we did. We <laughs> drank it too. Uh, I didn't think so. I'm <laughs> still <laughs> here. Oh, yeah, there's there's oh, there was. <laughs> we drank it once I was 21. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we held on to it. Uh, just, just a little. Yeah. Like, Gagans is not going to this. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm fine. Uh, so my first homebrew experience was a rather interesting one uh, with two of my buddies who are still close friends of mine, uh, as I don't see them as much anymore. Um, one lives in Colorado and one lives in the southern part of the state. Um, we, one of my buddies has a camp on Great Wall, Great Walls Island, which is down in Jonesport Fields. Oh, there you go. Uh, and his dad had a beer kit there, and we always saw it, and we just kept looking at it. And we got down there one night. Today's the day. And we got there at probably like 10 o'clock and we looked at it and we said, let's fire this thing up. And we didn't really know what we were getting into. We didn't, didn't. <laughs> uh, and we didn't go to bed until like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, let's do the math on that. Yeah, yeah it, was, really uh, it was a long night and we were just like, well. Uh, and after that, and it, it didn't turn out great. We gave it to our, our dads. Uh, he was kind of a little upset that we took his kit, but yeah, he yeah. didn't want to, he didn't do it, so. Yeah. Uh, and after that, um, linked up with a few other buddies, and we started pretty much avidly homebrewing. Um, nice. And we still actually have all of those recipes from back in the day. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. pretty I, fun. I still, have a, I still have a notebook. Yeah, I think most people have a notebook. Yeah, I have one too. Notebook in my the basement. old ones. Every once in a while I look at the notebook and like, some of them I'll look at and be like, oh, I mean, that was great. And then you'll dive into the recipe and it's like, what was I crazy? Yeah, what was this? <laughs> well, but I mean, even so, like, brewing has changed um, over the last few years. You know, yeah. I mean, the, the, the norms in brewing um, are, are different now. And some of the things that I would have done a few years ago, I think, you just wouldn't do now. Exactly. You know, yeah. techniques have, have progressed and changed, but it's all pretty fun. It's all pretty fun. Well, what, one one last thing. I mean, this is not obviously uh, all about hyping beers, but we. I do want to know we've got some pretty cool things in the pipeline. Um, Press two, obviously, we're stoked about that. We're, we're crushing it today. Um, but uh, big county, big county, it's yes. coming out. It's not out yet. Um, cans are coming in. We're going to be putting big county, which is an all main ingredient IPA, into cans, uh, featuring main malt. Sure. Main Malt House Malt uh, and Hops from Arusa Hops, really cool beer. We've been excited about that one. And um, the other one we can announce is Dad's Oatmeal Stout going into cans. We're excited about that too. And going in in the summer, we were planning on doing it uh, later in the year, but our distributors were like, hey, you know, if you're going to be doing that, let's get it out in the summer. There are a lot of people who want to drink stouts in the summer. Like so um, still like their stouts. Yeah, and, and we get that, and we do too. We just didn't know if there was going to be a market for it, so they think there's going to be, so it's coming to you guys live probably in the next uh, next month or so. Yeah. Talking about those two beers, three beers, uh, we've got one more in the way that we can't quite yet talk about. We're not going to talk about that one yet. Um, Sorry, <laughs> can't, can't say. Uh, you guys excited about those beers? If so, what's super exciting about what's coming up? Yeah, that's always, exciting. Yeah, um, just excited to see that Big County from a standpoint of the pub really received it well. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of just made a main West Coast IPA, yeah. uh, which was really interesting to play with those ingredients, really. Yeah. Um, and how well they worked. And how simple the beer is. Very, very simple. Um, yeah, it's, it's so many times we've found the, the best path to a quality beer is start with quality ingredients and keep it simple. Exactly. You know, keep it simple, yeah, keep it precise, um, and, and dial it, dial it yeah. right in. Yeah. Keep it simple, keep it clean. Yeah. yeah. I'm super stoked about um, about Big County as well, just from the perspective of being a main boy. Um, you know, you guys, uh, 
all main guys yeah. um, from Bangor, from Auburn. Yeah. Yeah. Auburn. Yeah. Hold up. He's Sorry, from BC. Oh, I'm from oh. Bangor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we talked about you. Tell, I can tell. So that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> and I, I got it all wrong because I've talked on Casey in conversations about how I'm from Oregon, but when I tell people oh, where yeah. I'm from, I'm from Bangor, yeah, right. and I'm not from Bangor. I'm decidedly not from Bangor. I'm right. from Brewer, if anything. And I'm definitely not even from Brewer. I'm from Oregon, so I get VZ. VZ, 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 loud and proud, right? Yeah. Why not? Why not? And then <laughs> most in. But the reason I said Auburn, I knew I, I knew I was wrong. But your dad, your family's business, the roller drum in Auburn. Yes, that's been going forever. Right across the bridge. Yeah, right across the bridge. The yeah. roller drum. Check it out. Yeah, the roller drum. Yeah. I if you have. I've been. checked it out a few times. Uh, it is awesome. It's fun. Last remaining wood floor roller skating rink in. in New England? In New England, I think. In the oh, my world. Dad's in the world. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's going to hate me. <laughs> it's okay, we can edit it out. Yeah, but it is great. All wood. Yeah, old school. Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And Bangor. 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 Yeah. Bangor I mean, proper. Yeah. Bangor proper. Technically, wasn't born there, but. <laughs> happened since I was one, so. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Well, we uh, we could talk all day because we do often talk a lot and talk all day, especially <laughs> yeah. when we are drinking beer. But we're all we can sidetrack. We're all pretty much down to the line. Oh, we'll so, uh, everybody, thanks for tuning in uh, to Tasting Room Conversations, guys. Thanks for everything you do. Um, I know you get a bunch of fans that are going to be watching. Thank you. I'm going to go left.